Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we have a couple more roster moves to talk about, so let's dive right into it. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button if you do enjoy these types of videos, and let me know your thoughts about these releases down in the comment section down below. So, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have waived two wide receivers, one being Travis Johnson, and the other being J. Don Mickens. Let's first get started here with Travis Johnson, a guy who is still, in my opinion, a young, good, developmental wide receiver. He had a very solid training camp. I think he did some very good things catching the football in the last preseason game. He had a really nice catch. He would fumble that, but he was still able to keep possession of the football at the end of the day for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so it wasn't a bad play per se. And I know that Jason Light likes him a lot. He had talked about this earlier in the offseason, that he was excited about the progression of Travis Johnson. And I know Bruce Arians has said similar things as well. He's a big-bodied, athletic, kind of jump-up-and-get-it type of wide receiver. And I feel like there could potentially be some type of a future in this offense for him, uh, depending on expiring contracts and how all those things work. Are going to work out. So in terms of his future with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, if he does clear waivers, I do expect him to be brought back on the practice squad. It makes sense. Everybody in the organization likes him. Point blank, there just isn't enough room for a guy like Travis Johnson. They were already considering, I imagine, keeping seven wide receivers. That is now not a thing anymore. But even if they were to keep seven wide receivers, Travis Johnson would have found himself in a very, very tough situation to make this team. So we'll wait and see what happens with Travis Johnson. I wish him nothing but the best in his future endeavors. Could he get picked up by another team? Sure. I don't think it's super likely. Maybe a team like the Detroit Lions who are just absolutely thin as can be at their wide receiver core. That's just the first team that comes to mind for me. Uh, and maybe he could go and sign with a different team's practice squad if he wanted to. But if he does clear waivers and he does have the option, I would see no reason for him not to pick the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in terms of landing on a practice squad. So, again, we will have to wait and see what happens with Travis Johnson. The bigger name of the two, however, is Jadon Mickens has also been released. This may come as a surprise to some people, and to be honest... I'm a little surprised. I genuinely thought that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were going to keep seven wide receivers. That is not the case anymore. So, first things first, I wish nothing but the best for Jadon Mickens in his future endeavors. Um, wherever he ends up, we'll talk about that in a moment. But this does mean that Jalen Darden has won the returning jobs for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, both at kick returner and at punt returner. They experimented with the idea of using Keyshawn Vaughn as a returner. I don't think that went well at all, so I think that they might as well just give it to Darden. It's one of the reasons you drafted him anyway, so get him started early. Don't muck it up or anything like that with uh, using Keyshawn Vaughn. Just have Jalen Darden do it, learn how to be a returner in the NFL, and just have him grow and improve in that way. But... You know, throughout preseason, throughout training camp and whatnot, I thought Mickens was at least barely doing better at returning than Jalen Darden. And I thought that Mickens, he had a great training camp. He was doing some decent enough stuff uh, in some preseason games. And overall, I thought he showed a lot, both as a returner and as a receiver. That's why this move is still a little bit surprising to me. I thought that the Buccaneers would keep seven guys, have Jadon Mickens be that special teams type guy as a gunner as a returner and all these other different types of things. But as I said, Keyshawn Vaughn, they've been using him as a gunner, Jalen Darden, they've been using him as a returner. Maybe there just wasn't enough uh, reasoning to keep Jadon Mickens on this roster. Now, in terms of what he could potentially do here after he leaves the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he could very likely sign with another team. I think that there are plenty of teams out there who would probably want to use the services of Jadon Mickens, if not just as a returner, then definitely both as a returner and wide receiver. Again, I take a look at the Detroit Lions, uh, among some of those other teams that might need wide receivers out there, maybe the Eagles. Again, I don't know every team's wide receiver situation, but I feel like there are teams out there who could use the services of Jadon Mickens. 
but if he does somehow clear waivers and he is able to return on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers practice squad, man, he, he's got to be one of the first guys in line, right? Absolutely got to be one of the first guys in line. It's not a new concept to Jadon Mickens. He was on the Buccaneers practice squad a couple of years ago, and now he has that chance to be on there again, you know, much like in the case of Travis Johnson. If he has a choice between picking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers practice squad and picking another team's practice squad, I think he goes with the Bucs there. Uh, it'd be great to have that depth in case that there's some type of injury the wide receiver core. I'm already knocking on wood for that one. And honestly, he could just be back if Jalen Darden struggles as a returner. That could be a legitimate possibility there. I, I think that Mickens is going to be one of those guys, if he doesn't end up with another team, you'll see him getting called up, put back down, called up, put back down on the practice squad, or Man, they may even just call him up and put a different position back down on the practice squad uh, during the season. That could be a legitimate thing because I think they value Jadon Mickens, what he offers as a returner. I think they off they uh, value a little bit of what he does as a wide receiver. He's a good extra hand to have who I think can you know, get you some good snaps with route running and catching and all these other different types of things. So if he doesn't end up on another team, again, I've got to say that again, I very much believe he will continue to have some role with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But literally, as I was just finishing recording my points talking about Jadon Mickens, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have also waived Cody McElroy, the tight end. Again, uh, this means that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be keeping three tight ends. They've waived Darrell Adams. They've waived Tanner Hudson. Cody McElroy has now been waived as well. Greg Allman has literally just tweeted that out a few minutes ago. And Greg Almond's already saying that McElroy will come back on the practice squad if he does clear waivers, which leads me to believe that, you know, they're either going to A, have two tight ends on the practice squad with Tanner Hudson and Cody McElroy, or B, they're not confident that Tanner Hudson is going to be able to return on the practice squad. Another team may pick him up. But in the case of Cody McElroy, you know, I liked what he did as a tight end for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sure, he had a couple of miscues here and there. He's still a very raw talent, by the way. That's an important thing to remember. The guy is, you know, still growing as a blocker, as a receiver, all these other different types of things. And I saw that improvement personally, you know, in training camp, through these preseason games. I feel like he is growing and learning more as time is going on. And I feel like eventually he could be something you know, of a well-balanced, well-rounded tight end for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But right now, he's still in the stages of his development where, you know, you kind of stash a guy like that on your practice squad, kind of continue to coach him up, grow with him, and just roll with that. But yeah, this is going to be a very interesting thing to pay attention to with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers carrying only three tight ends with Rob Gronkowski, OJ Howard, and Cameron Bright. All three of those guys could be starters in the league for other teams in their own right, but also all three guys have had injury concerns in the past. So Cody McElroy might be one of those guys they will have to call up at some point um, if they need an extra hand due to an injury. Again, knocking on wood for that. But I feel like if McElroy had to come in and maybe get a couple of snaps, I feel like he could do a serviceable job filling in for one of those guys. So we'll have to wait and see. Again, nothing but best wishes for Cody McElroy. If he does ba end up back on the Buccaneers practice squad, if he does clear waivers and go with another team, whatever it may be, I wish him nothing but the best in whatever they decide to do with him. But anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know what you think about this move. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and cut to the outro. But again, I wish nothing but the best for both these guys in whatever they're doing. Uh, hopefully their futures are with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're both very talented wide receivers, and I'd love to see them back. But at the end of the day, we will have to wait and see what other teams want to do with guys like these. So what do you guys think about these releases? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.